Welcome back to the EG Reading Rounds. I have some interesting EGs for you and let's get started. So this very first EG, you can pause the video right here and try to answer what you think of these discharges. So you're looking at a bipolar montage. These are electrodes recording from the left side and these are electrodes recording from the right side. What do you make of these discharges? So I'll give you some clues. This person is awake. You can see some eye blinks. And this is on both sides. So this person is awake. And try to think of the EG patterns that you're, you normally see when a person is scanning through a picture or scanning through an object. So well, that gives the answer. Uh, these are lambda waves. So these sharp transients, sometimes these can be biphasic, sometimes these can be trans, uh, triphasic. These are sharp transients in the occipital head region when a person is awake and scanning a picture or scanning an object or scanning a design. Do not call these epileptiform activity. And uh, I will show you some other EGs that will help you differentiate one from the other. So let's move on. What about this one? So this one, you do not see any eye blinks. You see these sharp transients in the occipital head region. When there is a downward deflection, it has two meanings. Either P3 is more positive than O1, or O1 is more negative than P3. If you look, the, uh, look at these EGs in a referential montage, you'll be able to differentiate, which we have done. And so these are sharp waves. These are epileptiform discharges in the occipital head region. So these are epileptiform activity. These are not benign variants. So basically, this person is at a higher risk of having seizures originating from the occipital head region. What about this next one? So you do not see any eye, eye blinks here. There is not a whole lot of muscle activity. It's possible patient is in stage one sleep. What do you make of these discharges? Uh, what is the location? So you, you see these, what is common in this channel and this channel. So O2 is common. So you only see these discharges in the occipital head region. The other thing that is noticeable is the distance between these discharges is more or less uniform. You see another discharge here, then here, then here, then here. Uh, so what do you think? Pause the video here. Try to write your answer. Okay. So these are artifacts. These are head movement artifacts. So the patient was nodding the head backwards in light sleep and was stretching the electrodes and that was creating this artifact in the occipital head region. So this is not epileptiform activity. This is not even a benign EEG variant. This activity is not coming from the brain. This is just external artifact. Okay, pause your video here and try to answer what do you make of this. So let's start with, first of all, you're looking at a bipolar montage. So this is all left. All the odd numbers are recording from the left side. Even numbers are recording from the right side. You do not see any eye blinks. You see some slowing in the background, and in fact, you see these sleep spindles. So patient is in stage two sleep. And what you see here, the sharp activity here, these are posts, so which stands for positive occipital sharp transient of sleep. So you see these in sleep. Typically, you can see it at an early age, but are more common between 15 and 50 years of age. In rare instances, you will see it in the elderly patients as well. And so posts are benign variants. These have a sharp morphology, but these do not increase your risk for having seizures. Going back to this EG, you can see an occipital dominant alpha rhythm. So you can count here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven-ish. It is maybe a slow alpha at this time, but what is most striking are these epileptiform discharges in the occipital head region. These are negative. This is negativity at O1. If you look, uh, if you change the montage or remontage it, you will see that basically the highest negativity is at O1. You also can note some slowing in the same area. So this is uh, a person with seizures coming from the occipital head region. And finally, what do you think about this one? So not the last EG probably, but this is uh, somebody, so I'll give, give it away. You, what you're seeing is basically 
low amplitude spike and wave discharges with highest amplitudes in the occipital head region. This patient has a known history of generalized epilepsy and the EEG demonstrates these kind of discharges mac with maximal amplitude in the occipital head region. And I guess this is the last EEG in, these, in, in this uh, tutorial and you do not see any eye blinks. The EEG has a slow morphology. You see, see some sleep spindles and what you see here, these are posts. So although it appears as a negativity at P4, this is actually a positivity. So anytime there is an upward deflection, it means either the input 1 is more negative or input 2 is more positive. So in this case it is the input to O2 which is more positive. So these are posts, positive occipital sharp transients of sleep which is a benign variant. If you're not comfortable when you're looking at an EG just reformat it to a different montage and look at a referential montage and you should be able to say whether there is a positivity at O2 or a negativity at P4. So thank you. That was pretty much it for today. I will see you at the next tutorial. Bye now.